Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is lecture one, part one of what is linguistics. This chapter is divided into two parts part one in this lecture and part one in the second lecture. Uh, and this chapter is about what is linguistics. First and foremost, it explains why studying linguistics, how linguistics differs from traditional grammar as two approaches to studying lang uh, language, language and uh, outlines the main subdivisions of the subject, the scope of linguistics. In this uh, lecture, we'll deal with these three main points. What is linguistics? We try to define linguistics and find out why we study linguistics. And then what is a linguist? And then uh, how does linguistics differ from traditional grammar? Now, starting with what is linguistics? Uh, yes, starting with what is linguistics? Linguistics is the systematic study of language. Now, this is the general and simply speaking, this is the simple def uh, uh, definition. Now, why, why studying linguistics? Why do we study linguistics? What is the reason? behind studying linguistics now there are five reasons mentioned in the first pages of your book or textbook a most people spend immense amount of their life using language they use language to talk to listen and in, in advanced societies to read and write so this is a reason that drives us to study language Another reason is that the use of language is an integral part of being a human. What distinguishes a human being from animal is the use of language. What distinguishes a human being, the, the, the sane human being, from an insane human being, crazy ones, is the use of language. So this is a reason... Uh, 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 causes us to study language. Three, all languages are surprisingly similar in their basic structure. Yes, there are so many languages and all of them have verb, adjective, subject, object, noun, complement, adjective, and so on, and so on and so forth. Now, all these, com all these are common to all languages. So this is not a coincidence. This is a reason why we study linguistics or language. For the inability to use language adequately can affect someone's status in society. I just said that using language in society can indicate your status, whether poor, uh, rich, good person, bad person, educated, uneducated, and so on and so forth. Now, this is a reason why we study language. And finally, this increasing number of scholars and scientists realize that they need to study language more deeply. Why? Because it affects the humanities and science. Now, for these five reasons, for these five reasons, we study language under what is called linguistics. So, linguistics is the study, the systematic or scientific study of language, which tries to answer the questions, what is language and how does language work? What is language and how does language work? Now, the second topic is, what is linguists? What is a linguist? So the linguist here is a person, is a person who can be a translator called linguist, a linguistician, the one who studies languages just like what we do, or a language who speaks more than one language, uh, a person who speaks more than one language. So these three definitions to a linguist. Now, 
what definition are we after here in the course of linguistics of course the second one which is linguistician a linguist or linguistician what are the qualifications of this person this person needs to know about the languages he or she uh, deals with not know the language no know about the language or languages okay which means a uh, 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 linguist in the sense of linguistics experts need not be fluent in languages though they must have a wide experience of different types of languages of language okay so this is the point we do not need to speak these languages that we are studying rather we not we need to analyze to investigate certain linguistic phenomena now three they're skilled objective observers i mean linguisticians or linguists they are skilled objective not subjective objective means studying scientifically observers rather than participants consumers of languages they do not use languages they do not speak these languages they do not consume them they are observers describers of these languages now this is who uh, what a linguist now the third point the, the third main point is how does linguistics differ from traditional grammar now linguistics is an approach to the study of language and traditional grammar is another approach to study uh, to the study of language the traditional grammar is older than the uh, linguistics or descriptive grammar now let's find out the differences which are detailed hugely detailed in your textbook first the most important linguists linguistics is descriptive not prescriptive which means linguistics deals with descriptive issues while traditional grammar deals with prescriptive if issues this means that linguists are interested in what is said not what they think ought to be said they describe language in all its aspects but not prescribe they describe فقط وصف not prescribe rules of correctness وليس اعطاء القواعد الصحيحة لتتبع now those who work on linguistics describe languages they do not dictate how to use them the same point they do not say what we should follow and the notion of obsolete and unchanging correctness is quite foreign to linguists they do not deal with this is correct and this is not correct they deal with this is how language is used now the second point of difference is that linguistics differs from traditional grammar in that ling linguists regard spoken language as a primary rather than written the descriptive approach or language or linguistics deals with spoken language while the prescriptive deals with or the traditional grammar deals with the written language people insist on modeling language in accordance with the use of the best authors of course they take their uh, 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 data from the best authors from the scriptures like Quran or Genesis or Bible or so on uh, while linguist linguists or descriptive linguistics take or takes uh, its data from the native speakers of the language the third difference the third way in which linguistics differs from traditional grammar studies is that it does not force languages which means linguistics does not force languages into a latin based framework why because at that time of the traditional grammar the latin the latin the latin language was the dominant language was the international language so all languages must follow it and studying any language 
must keep in pace with uh, 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 Latin, with the Latin language. Linguistics, on the other hand, I mean descriptive linguistics, do not have any uh, descriptive linguistics, does not have any concern with this uh, uh, principle. For example, people frequently argue that good English avoids split infinitives, as in the phrase to humbly apologize, where the infinitive to apologize is split by humbly. This is not the way. This is an influence of the Latin language. Each language must be described separately. Each language has its own uh, uh, rules, its own phenomena, its own cultural specifics, and so on. So, linguists, uh, according to the traditional grammar, they used to describe all languages according to the Latin language, while descriptive grammar or linguistics does not deal with such a principle. They describe language as it is. That's all for this lecture. If you have any uh, 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 question, if you have anything that you, you do not understand, just uh, uh, say it in a voice message to the telegram, telegram channel and I'll be glad to answer it whatever in whatever language in Arabic or English. Thank you very much. Wait for me for the next uh, part of this lecture.